Yeah, hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So in this session, uh, we we'll let you know how to integrate with the Git, uh, integrate uh, Git with the AWS code commit. So let me open the AWS console, then uh, I'll tell you how to integrate the Git with the AWS uh, code commit. Before that, we have to enable uh, or we have to generate the Git credential for the user. So let me open that user first, uh, like the, yeah, it is the user we have created earlier. So let me open that. Then we have, now once the user would be open, then we have to go to the security credential. Let me go to the security credential tab. And here you can see if you go to, uh, if you scroll down, you will get the options to enable the HTTP Git credential for the AWS code commit. Let's generate it. And let download this credential because this credential uh, it is required uh, like while uh, integrate the with the AWS code commit. Let me let me download it. So I just downloaded that uh, the Git credential. So let me go open the code commit. Uh, let me open it. You can see I open all the existing uh, code commit repository. Let me create the new one. I create as a blue green hyphen code hyphen commit. And you can define any name. Uh, let me create it. So the code com blue green code commit, the repo has been created under uh, code commit. So now what we have to do we have to integrate this code commit with the git so let me clone the url so let me clone the url as the clone https let me go to the ec2 instance and let me clone it git clone then paste the url enter the username and password like whatever the credential I have uh, downloaded it we have to use it let me copy the credential from the git uh, from the use I, I mean the IM user let me go to the IM user there is the access key and secret key let me copy the username here then we have to copy the password enter it has been cloned but uh, i did one mistake because while doing the clone i did i did not define any name so by default like the whatever the repo has been uh, cloned here so you can, it will be created as a blue green hyphen code commit but i have to clone us the different name like i have to clone, clone us blue hyphen green okay so generally it is the procedure to code commit so let me copy the username and password If you, uh, you are cloning without the defining name, that's fine. But uh, uh, it is a procedure like while doing the clone, uh, generally you define the name. Okay, so let me remove the old one like blue green hyphen code commit. Let me remove it. If you don't, if you don't define while cloning, then the original name would be uh, created by default. But let me remove it. So I'm re removing the old one, blue green hyphen code hyphen commit. So what are the things we have to do? We have to do uh, using the blue hyphen green directory. Okay. So what I'm doing, uh, whatever the contents is exist inside the AWS CCS pipeline directory, I'm trying to copy here. Let me copy that and we have to paste inside the AW, uh, blue hyphen green. That is the, I have clone with the, uh, like the, code commit i copy that let me go to inside the blue green directory here we have to run git art uh, space dot then you have to run the command git uh, git hyphen commit uh, hyphen modify m for modify then you, you can enter your comment like i'm giving an example like my new changes and it is saying uh, yeah it has been uh, it has been done yeah it is not an error it is just a, you can see the info 
okay so don't need to worry about it and it has been committed successfully so you have to post it git post then origin this then master oops yeah it is the error because uh, it, it is not the origin it would be origin okay so that's why i got the error okay let me do it again okay it is my mistake so don't do the mistake okay so it would be okay so let i did it i run it again git space r dot then commit it again okay then i we have to run you can see it is giving it is giving the hint yeah like you have to use origin okay so don't do the spelling mistake git space post and origin space master and after that you have to define you have to enter your username and password let me copy the username then you have to enter the password now you can see like the whatever the changes we have done or whatever the file exists inside the blue screen so it should be available inside the code commit so for validation let me go to the code commit repo and let me open it so we can validate it yeah so you can see here like the whatever the files is inside the my ec2 instance is the the directory it is available now here so it is successfully code commit or it is successfully integrate the aws code commit with the git see so if you face any kind of error please reach out reach out to me so definitely i can help you out so this is in this live in this session we came to know how to integrate the git with the aws code so so thank you so much guys so we can meet in the next session thank you so much